Well, hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here. And I just wanted to show you that uh, I'm still working on the teeth. <laughs> I actually have a, I found a spur up above my eye tooth, so I haven't been able to put these in to try them. I gotta wait till that comes out, but I was able to finish the bottoms. I just got a little bit of fine polishing to do on those and they'll be done. But as you can see, my desk is still a mess from that. You can hear this wonderful air conditioner is still driving me crazy. Uh, and it's been raining for about two weeks straight every day. Um, I guess we haven't got it as bad. We've had some flash flood warnings, but we haven't got it as bad as those folks in Kentucky. But anyway, I'm going to get outside um, for a little while as much as I can. This is basically sitting here too. I don't want to be pissing and moaning all the time, but I mean, my back too, I don't know if it's the weather or what, has been giving me a fit for the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to get outside, um, I'm going to get this, uh, this video is probably not going to be all that long, we're just going to get our stuff prepped, uh, our contact prepped, and get them in, uh, you know, get them in some acid so at least they can be out there dissolving when nothing else is going on. So we will get back at you when we get outside. Okay hey guys, I just wanted to show you what's going on outside here. As you can see, my grass is three feet high, uh, and it is raining like it has been pretty much every day for the last couple of weeks. Um, this is why uh, I haven't been able to really do too much of anything. I mean, on top of my back hurt, and I can't even mow because it's raining. So anyway, I've got some other little projects going here and there. Um, but we're going to get this area cleaned up right here and get it set up. And uh, that was our fluid from the test of the two bars. We'll use that stuff on the rest of the bars. But basically all we're going to do today is just, uh, I think, break out the hot plate. We're going to have to put it over here, but we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be boiling anything. So we're just going to use it as a warmer. Um, and uh, we're going to get this stuff all in acid and just let it do its thing. Even if it's slow, it's slow. It doesn't make any difference. I'm not in any hurry right now anyway because I can't really do anything else. So, alright, I'll get back at you when we got set up and we're going to start adding our acids and uh, get this stuff going. Okay guys, um, we're still getting used to this <laughs> new camera. I actually had it going but I didn't have the, I didn't have the microphone turned on. So anyway, all I did was I actually just grabbed this bucket. This is our, our little bars from, you know, that we said we were going to do this test on. Uh, we know there's some silver on them. There was uh, 1,451 grams of those. We were expecting about 6 ounces or so, 5 ounces, 4 ounces of silver out of these. But what I was talking about before I realized that I didn't have the microphone on was... Uh, Every now and again, I'll see a comment or two, and they're talking, and, and somebody will make a remark, you know, that, you know, well, there's silver there, there's this there, there's that there, you know, and, you know, you're still you're using this or using that. What a lot, what, I think what people don't completely get about re doing a refine for somebody else, if I'm going after this material for myself, of course it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it for me to go after it. It's free, you know, if it was free material especially. All right, but the thing of it is, is this is a split, okay? Yeah, even though 25% may sound like a lot, what I'm going to get out of whatever comes out of this basically is 25%. Now, out of that 25%, I'm paying for everything. I'm paying for filters. I'm paying for chemicals. I'm paying for everything. I'm paying if, if this happens to get broken during the thing doesn't cost the person that I'm doing the refine for, it costs me. So, that's what I think, you know, I probably haven't really made it clear in the videos because I didn't really think about it, but, you know, in the long run, you have to have a certain base, you have to have a, the material has to yield a certain amount. If it's not going to at least yield that, it is not worth doing it as a split. And that's what it boils down to, just like these right here. I'm going to clean them up, I'm do but this is actually, even in the long run, in the end, this is going to cost me money. All right, but I'm curious, at least I'll get a little bit of silver back, 
and I'm curious to see what we're going to get out of it. So anyhow, let me let me get this rinsed off. You can't really see in here. Let me see if I can get some lights on. Well, apparently, there we go. Anyhow, so I'm going to pour that off. I'm actually going to pour that off in a jar and check it and make sure that we don't uh, have any silver in there. But anyhow, let me let me get back at you in just a sec. Okay, guys, um, I've got these actually out into a coffee pot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just clean that out real quick, rinse it. We're going to actually rinse everything. Um, I'm going to show you how this looks. That's from rinsing them. Now I know there, there shouldn't be any grease or very little of any contamination on these. If they were all removed with heat, everything, so they've already been under the heat. But I am going to rinse them because you can see that's the water that came off of them. Uh, but this probably has some silver in it. So just from cleaning them up. So there's no point in putting that down the drain. So I'm going to rinse each bag of these, like I said earlier. Um, put all that water in here and let it settle. So as soon as I get that done, we're going to have our jars set up. I'm going to be using some coffee pots. Uh, these, this tungsten is very heavy, so when you're putting it in something, you know, this coffee pots are great for stuff, but remember, they're very thin. So that's a lot of weight in there, so just be careful how you're putting it in. I wouldn't advise grabbing it by the handle with that much tungsten in there, so, you know, hold it like this so it's solid. Uh, Alright, let me get the next big batch out, and we're going to go ahead and get them cleaned up. Okay, our next biggest thing, and again heavy, are just our regular tungsten, our large bag of tungsten contacts, which was 1171 grams. Uh, I'm going to rinse those the same way, get them in another coffee pot. These should take the least amount, this stuff and that should take the least amount of nitric acid because they are mostly tungsten by weight. But again, we're talking about it takes the same amount of time. It's the same amount of work whether I'm doing this, you know, or I'm doing if this was all solid silver. You know, I still have to wait. I still have to do the cleanup. I still have to clean and dispose of my fluids. I, you know, everything's the same, even though it's not as much. Again, pointing to the fact of why when you're doing a refine for someone, you don't, you know, you have to have limits. Okay, this is going to be just redundant. I'm going to just do this with every one, so we'll just get back to you when I have this all set up. Here is all of our contacts. Uh, I know this probably looks absolutely ridiculous to some of you, but these are separated out into the basic shapes like I did inside. Um, I have each batch written on the jar so I know what it is. And I've got one milliliter of distilled water to match the weights, except for the tungstens. I have half that. Um, now, my reason for doing this, I always told you guys I do everything separately, and even though this looks like a pain in the butt, which it kind of is, each one of these batches, if something goes wrong with one of them, okay, then I only have to redo that. Again, falling back to the fact that this is a job refine, this is not my material. So, I mean, all said and done, by the time chemicals are done, you know, we're talking about 
now for each one of these where you see this 648 we're talking about probably 648 to 900 milliliters of nitric acid to dissolve these okay that's a lot of nitric acid you know this is a decent sized batch all together it's a, a, a really decent sized batch but just this one we're talking about anywhere probably from one to two gray or milliliters of nitric acid to dissolve these depending on how much copper is in them okay uh, you can figure for pure silver you're looking at one and a quarter to one and a half milliliters of nitric acid so there is right there off the bat let's call it let's call it one and a half so if it takes one and a half milliliters of nitric acid added to this to dissolve this we are looking at what 700 so we got 650 and half of that is 325 900 almost a liter that is a little bit less than half that bottle now I did finally find a good place to get nitric acid at a decent price but that is still going to be approximately thirty dollars worth of nitric acid to dissolve this if this little thing right here right here if this little guy with 78 grams of crap in it has some kind of a contaminant that screws up this refine I got to use 900 milliliters of nitric acid to dissolve this again not counting the rest this is why I do things separately if I have to redo this entire batch because one little part came out bad I'm, I'm way behind I'm just totally backed up then I won't make a dime on this refine time wise I'm not going to make a dime on it anyway but at least I'm going to get some silver and probably pay for my costs but if something goes wrong that's what we're looking at you're looking at redoing the entire batch because of one little goof this way it's all contained yeah it's a pain in the butt it took me an extra hour to set this up probably you know and get everything ready but you know what that extra hour if it saves me thirty or forty dollars worth of nitric acid or a hundred dollars worth of nitric acid I think it's worth it so anyway that's why I said I'm a, that's why I do things the way I do them now again if this was mine and all the silver was mine and something screwed up hey I can afford to do it again you know what I mean I can I can afford to do it again but when I'm only going to get 25 percent of this yield I can't afford to do it twice okay so enough of that there's our jar of our rinse water so we know that's going to settle out uh, and then I'll test it I'll probably put a little nitric in that and just I'm sure there's a little bit of silver in there there has to be so basically these are all warming up um, I've got them on a little warmer I'm not gonna make it super hot just warm um, I'm gonna cover all these I've got a back fan going and I'm gonna add about 25 percent of the nitric acid to each one that we're gonna need to dissolve this so even by this way I know how much nitric it's gonna take me around it always takes a little more sometimes a little less you never know you never know what's gonna happen but anyway I just wanted to show you that guys I know this wasn't very long of a video uh, but I am going to wrap it up in a few minutes um, I'm probably I'll probably add this nitric acid and check this a couple times and show you that and then uh, we're just going to wrap it up because I've got to sit down my back is not agreeing with me today so anyhow after I'm going to add the nitric let it go for a bit and then we'll come back out and check it so we'll see you then okay guys we have added our nitric uh, or a percentage of our nitric to each one of these I've written down what I've added on each jar so I know where I'm at by weight um, we're getting as you can see a, a different reaction from all uh, but pretty much as expected that one in the back that little guy there that looks white and foamy is white and foamy um, but everything seems to be reacting as normal except this guy which I have taken out of the bunch and put up here in a catch basin because with the amount of nitric acid that I added to that this was those hard alloy those thin that were hard really hard to bend um, long kind of looking things um, they are reacting but they're not reacting as vigorously as I expected them to you know right off the bat with the amount of nitric acid that I've added to that 
So I don't know what's going to go on with them. I don't know if it's going to eat through a plating and then, you know, be down to something else and go nuts. So basically I have just put, you know, put that one up in a catch basin and we're just going to leave it on its own. But you can see everything is reacting differently. Everything is a different color, which once again, another reason for doing this, because each particular style of contact, I mean, has its own type of alloys in it. So if something gives me a hard time, like I said, I can separate it out because it's already in a separate jar. I don't have to worry about redoing everything. That's just like this. If these would have been in the batch, okay, let's say in another hour, it eats through whatever is on the surface of these, and it goes bonkers, and we don't even know what it is. So that's my point again for doing everything separately. We're getting good e even reactions here. This is actually the tungsten bars, and all I did in this was just add the, um, poured the solution in that I did the original test in. I haven't added anything else to that yet. So I'm going to let that go dead, and then we'll see if we have to add anything else to it. Because we already had, I don't know, 75 milliliters of nitric acid in those two jars, or somewhere about that. But you can see even this one now has perked up a little bit. So you don't really know, you know, what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. That, this probably kicked on again. You got a little warm, which kicked this one off again. So anyhow, I'm going to let this stuff go. Um, like I said, this one concerns me because it should be reacting much stronger than it is. So I don't know if it's going to, you know, like I said, freak out here in a little while or, or what it's going to do. So anyhow, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this video. Like I said, I just wanted to show you where we're at, what we're doing. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.